the, the concept of MD Online first came about when uh, I was working for another company in the healthcare industry and saw that there was a, a missing component in healthcare whereby the doctors weren't sending their transactions electronically to the insurance companies. That was a gap that needed to be filled. My goal when I started this was to have a thousand doctors. Uh, today, uh, we have, we're directly connected to over 67,000 doctors. The big part of this is putting the right team together around the, the concept, the idea, and being able to execute on what the game plan was. I think very early on, I, wanted, I knew that I was, I was sort of bred to be an entrepreneur. I always um, was trying to do everything uh, to make a dollar early on, and I knew that the harder I worked, the more successful that I could be, and that I never gave up on any thought or idea that I had until I knew that it wouldn't work. just wanted to be one of the best at what I did throughout my life. For students that want to be entrepreneurs, I firmly believe that you need to surround yourself with the right people. Having the mentor, being able to bounce off ideas off of someone that's been there and done it, whether it be in small business or large business, was just a priceless addition to the success of our, of our company today. You have to be hungry and you have to, uh, you know, I'm going to say start with nothing, but you have, to be, you have to be giving up things to start the business and for the business to be truly successful. If you're handed a lot of money and you think that you can just go spend money, you're absolutely wrong. You need to be treating every dollar that comes from an investor as if it's coming out of your own pocket and it's going to be impacting the rest of your life. Being an entrepreneur, you need to go wake up every morning and know you need to run. And you need to make a difference every single day. And you need to understand what your goals and, and objectives are for each day and make sure you hit every one of them, and especially in the beginning, because there isn't much room for error. Think of every mistake that was made as a learning experience. Thinking that you can do something that you really don't know enough about to jump into. And I think that's a good lesson for all entrepreneurs is make sure you, you are or you have people around you that are subject matter experts in what you're looking to achieve. I grew up in Livingston, so right down the street here from Seton Hall, and uh, I was a commuter while I was here, so it was, uh, it made it easy for me to do multiple things at the same time because I wasn't at school doing the normal things that other folks were doing because I would be going home or I'd be going right over to my job site at the time. Several components of Seton Hall were just thrilling to me. Uh, you know, the people, the, the education, the institution, the religion, uh, uh, and, and the sports here at Seton Hall were just phenomenal. And I wrestled here while I was at Seton Hall. And that was just uh, one of the biggest challenges of my life, but one of the best uh, fulfilling uh, successes. Whether you're an entrepreneur um, or just building uh, any, any type of business with, with a group, you need to make sure your foundation is stable. And Seton Hall helped give me that foundation. I wanted to make sure that I can share with others my experiences. And by giving back to the community, by giving back to the school, I think that's one of the best ways and, and, and it, it's, it's, it's an internal fulfillment of giving back and understanding that you can help others. I think the most important thing that, that, that we have and I have um, as the leader of MD Online is the whole team, is making sure that the one piece of, of MD Online that I think we've gotten um, the luckiest with and I think we were the smartest with was hiring the right people. Hiring people that want to work hard and be successful make a difference for themselves and for the team. A place where everyone that works hard can be successful was critical to me and that if the company wins, everyone wins. Today more than 85 percent of our employees are either option holders or shareholders in the company and I'm looking forward to expanding that. I really enjoy seeing some of the younger people coming into the company that you can just tell are great thinkers. Without people that are challenging themselves every day and without the team challenging itself as, as, on a whole every day, uh, we couldn't be growing the way that we're growing, manage the growth, and seeing the other opportunities that are available within the industry. Nobody works for me. Everybody works with me. We're a team. And I think that's one of the most important things of being an entrepreneur, too, is that there is no I there. It, it's, it's all about the team and how successful we can be together. Being able to 
have the correct balance of, of, of work and family life. And I think that was one of the biggest drivers for me in the very beginning. I wanted to make sure that I had quality time with my family and that all the employees of the company also have that quality time. To see others succeed is, is just uh, is critical to me. I think my wife says it, uh, says it best, and I thought she was joking, but I realized that she's right, that she thinks I created the company to uh, be able to go to work with my friends. And I think that that's one of the biggest blessings of, of being an entrepreneur, having a successful company, seeing others succeed, and best of all, um, being able to go to work with your friends. She said it's just sort of like you, you took all your high school friends and folks from college and, and created a company that now you go to work every day and you have a great time. And you have to have fun if you're going to work. You have to love what you're doing. Mm -hmm.